Okay, cool. So basically, a topic of conversation is going to be surrounding the controversy that followed Low Tier God. Um, so for those that don't know, basically what happened was Low Tier God came out with some transphobic comments after losing to a Ken player called Cerroblast. And uh, basically was banned by a bunch of tournaments, including EVO. Um, and then it came out that Cerroblast had been racist on his stream, on his Twitter... Um, just basically using the M word as a slur in his day to day, and um, now people are sort of like pulling at straws. Like people are not really understanding why it's wrong to be racist and acting as if it's 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 uh, it's more harmful to be transphobic. And I kind of want to like get you guys' impressions on it and your experiences in the FGC because I know I've encountered racism in the FGC. Do you think do you think that they um that they attacked you more because because you're do you think this would have happened to someone like Cerroblast at the time or do you think they attacked you more because you're black Mm-hmm. Now, recently, they, there's a thing where Cyril Blast was 
were saying, oh yeah, you know, black culture is to blame for, you know, the whole, the whole using the N word and whatever. Yeah. I, I didn't. I, I, this is what. This is how it's gonna be so clear and evident. You know, of what I'm trying to say. Um, there was none of the TOs that were saying anything. I see Capcom made a public, um, a public statement. But all these people that were saying, oh yeah, they're both banned and this stuff. They didn't even raise awareness of what Zero Blast said. Not even, not even, you know, Ultra David was saying stuff about low tier god, which is cool. Like, don't get me wrong, low tier god ain't the smartest tool in the drawer at all. Mm. Like, you know, he, what he does, he, he makes jokes. He's very outspoken, fair enough. But he's been, he's been. I'm sure he has people running saying, "Hey, look, man, you you are go, you are going over the line." And if you still want to keep on going, 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 consequences are gonna happen. So, so I get that. I get that. But at the end of the day, it's like, well, you know, everyone's giving their opinions about low tier God, low tier God, low tier God. Now, you have a clear video of this guy saying black people are the culture. I mean, black people are the problem with the, with the culture, whatever he said. Where are all these people that was speaking up against low tier God when Cyril Plus was saying this? Yeah. Yeah, we're, 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 that's what I'm saying. So it's just like everyone's going, I was looking up freaking raw. This is exactly, this is how, exactly how it felt when I was going through my stuff and it's just like, you know, I've seen when, when, so when there's a little bit of heat against me, even though I haven't done something, I can see how people will jump on it and it's like, well, okay. But yeah. the moment something happens, like, and it's like, bro, this guy's racist, clear racism. And I'm seeing like, bro, I'm not even going to lie, I'm just going to be honest with you, I'm seeing people in, in the fighting game community, like, for example, when I was at Versus Fighting, the guy was there, he was cussing mm. me, he was cussing my girlfriend, me and my girlfriend went to Versus Fighting, the guy didn't look at us, he didn't even say any of these stuff, he didn't have the same oh, energy, uh, the, the, um, not the demon guy, or Batman Gates, whatever he is. <laughs> but he's, I don't know, he's, he was on YouTube, uh, I don't know. Don't you do, yeah. But so, so, so he was saying all of that stuff, and I was just like, right, okay, cool. So then he's going to pick on, and you're saying, oh, yeah, I'm a pussy, and all of this stuff. He was saying all of these things, to be honest with you, like, I don't care as well, I'm, I'm a grown up. I, you, I, if I'm to jump at everyone that has said stuff about me, I would probably be, you know, I just don't care in it, like, okay, cool, you yeah. said all this stuff. I've seen you, you haven't said nothing to me, all the stuff you're saying about me or my girlfriend, you haven't said anything, you haven't even looked at her, she's looking at you, you haven't looked back, like, I know what type of person you are now, like, there's yeah. no reason for me to be like, oh, what are you saying, or I just don't have time, And you know? Can I so ask you, Jay, you, um, you, um, you've obviously got, you've probably got the most successful YouTube channel in the UK for a Tekken player, and like, obviously a big streamer, but in that time that you've been you've been streaming and doing YouTube, have you had instances where people have directly attacked you because you're yes. a successful black YouTuber? Of course. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I get, I get like, people coming and making fake accounts, saying certain things, like, I remember, like, probably even last week. Like that too, bro. Yeah, there's so many, there's like, people Talk saying, about it. Yeah, there's people saying stuff like, uh, oh, how many watermelons have you eaten today? What are these, like, little Are you serious? Oh my lord. It's just like, bro, oh, listen, I don't know, I don't, I'm not a person that, again, this is what I mean, I'm not a person that will broadcast it every single day on Twitter, on Facebook, and this other, but I just go through it, I'm just like, oh, okay, <laughs> like, what can you do, you're trying to attack someone with a username, you're never going to meet them. Yeah. They, they, they always say what they want to say behind the username, they ban them, they make another account, well, Twitch is more better now, because they've they done shadow ban now, which is better, but it's like, are you really gonna, you know, get mad at using it? Yeah. It's the internet now. I got so used to it before I used to get angry, but now it's just like, whatever. But the one thing I'll say, and I'm gonna be honest, is the one thing that hurts me about this whole um, racism in FEC, for example, is like, there is no stand. Like, there ain't, like, say, for example, if someone says something, there is no. I'm not saying that everyone has to be that. No, I am. Fuck okay, it, I am there. I'm, everyone should be against someone that is saying something of, like, you know, if it's based on transphobic. Obviously, if people can do what they want to do, and if that's how you want to be, you want to be racist. But there needs to be, like, some type of code of conduct everyone follows. 
people mm. said, bro, okay, well, if this guy's racist, then nah, we can't, we can't mess with him, we can't become a part of this kind of other. Yeah. But when I'm seeing, like, the like the likes of, like, you know, I don't really want to say names, but, you know, like, the likes of Brute Kangs and, uh, the, I don't know, Shen and all them are talking to the same guys calling me a convict, I'm just like, bro, like, is this what's going on? Like, yeah. yeah. Exactly, exactly. And you're like, ugh. And, and, you know, I looked, I looked at it, I'm not going to make, I'm not, sorry, 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 but, um, I looked at it and I was, it was just disheartened, because, like, bro, like, I know everyone's seen it, and I didn't even post that up, that's the worst thing, I just left it, I made a little statement, I left it as that, I said, bro, you know what, I don't want this to die, you know, I messaged, I messaged, um, who did I message, yeah, I messaged, like I said, I messaged Mark, and he didn't respond, um, you know, I spoke to um, the Haddo, um, he said that, uh, basically, he just kind of just said, oh, you know, I messaged the T.O.s about the, um, what was going on. So, so obviously, if I'm messaging the T.O., I message, I message the mix-up guy. Because mm. I wanted to go mix-up, and I'm like, bro, look, I'm going, I'm, I'm not saying people would take bad or anything like that. I am saying, I am going, if there is an issue, and it's like, whoa, well, like, if something happens, he says something to me. I can't guarantee I'm going to be cool. I'm just telling you that. Like, yeah. So you don't play, you know? Because I don't want sometimes... What's going on is, is I go there, something happens, and then, oh, yeah, who is it? Jay, oh, black guy. Don't, oh, don't you think that's very telling that you have to actually tell people after he's been racist to you, yeah, it takes one transphobic comment from low tier God to basically blow this situation out of proportion? Bro, it's... Like I said, man, it's, 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 it's very... It's, it's sad enough to me because if like I said if I said something to about about I don't know any type of race and I I said something me if I said something I am getting banned for life mm. you're getting banned you're getting outcasted you're getting yeah yeah you're getting punished for it 100% so yeah, yeah for me it's just like you know even coming into the scene when a cobra is running snake Another thing, like, I don't want to go through so many, I want everyone else to talk, but this is the last one. When I was getting towards, when I was coming into Cobra Snake, uh, Snake Pit tournament, um, it was me and three other people. Remember, I'm coming up to the scene. I don't hardly know anyone. So it's just like, oh, I'm coming with my friends, I'm doing a money match, this and that, but they were trying to not, like, it wasn't Cobra, but other people saying, oh, yeah, don't bring his friends in there. They mm. brought a rowdy crowd and stuff like that. And I'm like, bro, this guy is shorter than me. I'm like, well, five, seven. And the other guy is like, tall and skinny. Like, bro, what, what, what are we gonna do? It's like, because you're we black. Came in, we played. Yeah, it's mad. We pretty came in, played, bought drinks at the thing bar. Like, yeah, yeah, I remember. Remember? Yeah, yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah. And it's just like, oh, come on, man. Then you know, it's like so many other situations where I've been accused of doing things like a whole bad situation when I didn't do it. There's so many things, bro, like, so many things. That's why it's just like, for me, I look at it like, yeah, well, I have a successful platform now, but at what cost? Look how, look how many years it's taken. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, it's, it's crazy. And, and how, look how many stuff I've gone through and people have done stuff and it's like, well, they haven't got punished for doing certain things towards me it's just like yeah i just had to take it like i'm a sitting target yeah yeah it's well, what it is well um like i mean i was only six years old i think or seven when i went to namco wonder park so i wasn't really about to see everything that was going on but i know that cobra was there during that time so if you want to like we were talking the other day and you were telling me some stories if you want to tell the people what you were telling me And I said, 
said, what's up, bro? Because I think Jay just arrived. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, man. And I said, come in, come in, man. Come in, come in, come in. And I brought his boys in as well. And I made it a point for people to see that I was bringing them in because, you see, I'm very old to school. I'm like ancient school. So I've been going, I've been playing competitively in fighting games since 1992. Now, Tekken is a different case. I've been playing competitively since 1997. Mm. When the days of Namco Wonder Park, right? It's a brilliant place. So, but the difference with Namco Wonder Park and the difference with the climate now is that when you were in Namco Wonder Park, you still had all sorts of races there. Eh? You still had people cars, cars playing from time to time. You still had, well, not really trans people because trans, like, you, like you had more homosexual people there, black people, white people, Chinese people, all sorts of people. But there was an unspoken code of conduct there that yeah you are within your rights to say whatever you want you know because you had people there that were friends and you know there's friendly banter there's friendly jokes even sometimes racial banter but it's still in the realms of friendship if you know those people but there's also a danger that if you go out of your way to call somebody out of their name certain things you will get your ass beat for like like for like for example right in namco like in namco wonder park you used to have a lot of triads triads used to go there all the time there were mm. lots of triads that was the time of when triads were right all the young young ones so if you knew them cool but even when you knew them you couldn't make chinese easy jokes you couldn't use the c word or use your rice Pick up, oh, blah 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 blah. You get your you get your ass whipped, probably a chance because there was an unspoken code because there was no hiding behind monitors. There was no tweets. There, there was no tweeting how you felt about a certain race or a certain class or gender or whatever. So then people understood that was there was jungle law there. It was more hardcore, infinitely more hardcore there. And you certainly couldn't make any black egg jokes there. It was like. That's that's on that's unheard of. So there was a respect, a mutual respect. Everybody did what they were doing. You hung out with your friends there. You played games and you went went home. That mm. was it. That was it. The, the problem that I have with today now, like I was saying about the thing with Jay, is yeah, everything that Jay said is true. But here's why: because there's a difference according to them. Because there's racism and there's anti-black racism in particular. Mm. Um, basically what Jay is describing and the reason why he's like, yo, how come when I say anything or when I do anything, like the collusion thing, right? Yeah. Even, let's even take it before that, right? Let's even take it about the time when they accused Jay of like stealing pants, right? Mm-hmm. Somebody accused Jay of like stealing pants. Mm-hmm. Now, I didn't be- believe, now, now, I didn't believe because Jay's not a fucking thief, right? But fine. You know, it went around and this witch hunt started, let's ban Jay, let's ban Jay from gang, let's ban Jay from this, from that, ooh, ah, ooh, ooh, from Tekken Force, ooh, ah, yeah, ooh, ah. And did they, did they have any proof? No. Somebody literally just said, I saw Jay stealing pants. And that was all it took. Now, everybody knows their history, yeah? You remember back in the day of like slavery and the Jim Crow, Crow days, when a white woman would just say, that black guy raped me. That's all she had to say in court. That's all she had to say. And the judge would, would say, yeah, it's true. Why is it true? Mm. There isn't any proof. I know it because <laughs> I know it because I'm white and I say so. That's what he used to say. So this on so like this on like this unjust kind of process of well, because it's Jay and we want to put Jay in a certain shoebox, like Jay is supposed to be the roadman. Because of how he talks, because they think, because of how he talks, oh, and how he dresses, oh, this guy's a roadman. Mm. He's not supposed to be in the gaming scene. He's not because I went through the same thing, guys. I went through the same thing. I was supposed to be the rapper who didn't play any games, or when he did play play games, he was rubbish. They couldn't wrap it around their head that oh, he's a hip hopper. But he actually knows things. He actually knows the game. He actually knows games. That's because I've been playing games since I was three. But you, you, you know, but people don't want to hear that because people love to put things in categories. So according to them, much like the comic book world, gaming is for geeks. It's for geek-looking people. And when yeah. they say geek-looking people, they want it to have a certain image. So when you're a geek, you're supposed to be 
probably Chinese or white or some other race, and you're supposed to be dorky and be awkward and be so socially awkward and the other games. You know what? You can't be black and cool. Yeah? You, oh, well, like, you, like, you can't be black and cool. I just want to swag or have I, drip. <laughs> yeah, 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 sorry, sorry, go on, go on. I just want to, no, no, sorry, I just want to interrupt you. Um, so, on that subject of what we're talking about with the patch, yeah. So, obviously the guy that, um, there was a little, there was a couple of people that did an island there that, that said, oh yeah, that I don't know, whatever, whatever. So, so the, the TO actually said, oh yeah, you know, they're banning me because of that. Yeah, I said, alright, cool. He said, there was CCTV. I said, alright, cool. Let me come down. And let me, like, let me see, and if I've done it, then you can arrest me, in it. He's like, oh, no, 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 it's fine. <gasps> Obviously, no. I knew from then, I said, well, like, apparently if I've done all this stuff, and I'm saying, I'll oh, come down, show me CCTV, and you're saying, no, it's fine. That seems a bit weird to me. And this is all true facts. Yeah. So anyway, no, this was like years ago, because it was T6. Obviously, I see in T7 after that collision thing, I see, um, I can't remember, I think Lionel might have made a little joke or something. Da, 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 da. Mm-hmm. The guy from Tekken Force, what's his name? Sh- um, Imperial, whatever his name is. Yeah, I see him tweet, yeah, so yeah, I see yeah. him tweet saying, oh, hide your pants. So I knew from then that this was not, you didn't believe or you didn't even have any proof. You just done it because you don't like me. Do you yeah. know what I'm saying? It was a bandwagon thing. And it's like, well, wow, well. I'm not gonna lie, Piro, we've heard stories about you. And you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, exactly. We've heard, we've, heard, we've heard that we've heard about you and under and an underage girl. I'm not gonna lie, that is where it is. Exactly. That's gonna run. Yeah. 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 yeah, there's no yeah. there's no there's no filter on this, isn't it? But it is where it is, isn't it? And that's another thing, it's like well, imagine how you people that like, people have heard in the community that rock right, people these don't have an underage girl, whatever, whatever. Imagine if that was me. Yeah. Oh, if it was you, you would have been hung, oh. drawn, oh, you would have been in jail right now, fam. You would have been. Yeah, yeah. But just to, just to finish off, like. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, like, you know, I've experienced this personally. This was my life story. And that's why, a lot of the time, to be honest, when I was actively playing Tekken in tournaments and stuff, a lot of the time, I didn't get the props that I deserved. Because even when I was winning tournaments, it was unfathomable that this dude, he's a rapper though. He's just a rapper. Why is he playing in games? And why is he fucking winning? He can't be, yeah, he's a rapper. Just the same way that Jay is suffering it now. Like, Jay is the guy, oh, he's supposed to be doing street stars. Shouldn't you be doing street stars? <laughs> it's that whole stereotype that, well, because you're a black person, indulging in things that they perceive to be theirs because you have to understand as well a lot of these people are socially awkward people mm. a lot of them are socially awkward people that in other in in any other galaxy if there was no twitter if there was no youtube if there was no internet per se like that you wouldn't hear about them they wouldn't come out of their of their basements talking rubbish yeah. but now because of the age that we are in we're in the age of information where everything is everywhere and because you can broadcast from anywhere from anything from your phone their mic is as big as yours so no so no matter what kind of gibberish that they're talking like you said Sarah Blast said black culture is to blame for using the end of word yeah. no because we didn't create it we didn't create it it was it was oppressed on the black people. It was imposed on us. Yes, fine, I agree. Um, especially in the United States, where it's even though they say it's yeah, it's thrown around. It's thrown around for everything. They use it for for their cars, their pets, their table, their chairs, for anything, for insects. This nigga here, blah blah blah. You know what I mean? Mm. I don't use it. I try not to use it. I only use it in context. So. Mm. I understand that. On one hand, yes, that is true. But you can't blame the N word. There's too much history behind that N word, which he, he either Sarah Blast doesn't know about or he doesn't care about. Oh, so he knows. Sarah knows. Sarah Blast knows. Oh, okay, so Sarah Blast knows. No, that means that he doesn't care. Yeah, that means that he doesn't care. He doesn't care. He doesn't care what the, what the symbolism behind that word is. He doesn't care that the symbolism behind somebody not black using it, especially as a derogatory term is, he doesn't care because he's never been reprimanded for it. He's never had to face consequences for it. Now, 
Now, if it was me personally, and I was living in New York, and there was a place where these people used to gather, I would personally go down there. I'm serious. I'm old school. We don't play that crap. I remember, let me tell you a little story, quick, quickly. Uh, and I'm calling his name now. Shinkin, right? Because Kurtzman, <laughs> Like, but you know, now he's moved to the first of all, he moved to Canada, 
and he's getting hurt. But because I can't do that, I don't know where, where he is. He's not here anymore. Mm. So he can spell what, whatever he wants. But he's one of many examples. Another one was Smolton. You remember him? Smolton from um, the Soul Calibur days. I, I don't yeah. remember that guy. Yeah, he was from Soul Calibur too, bro. He was friends with uh, Shin uh, Jin. Um, uh, talking rubbish, saying N-word this, N-word word, uh, that. Saying that people like me is how the is is how the word came about and blah 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 blah. Yeah, all these times I remember. I went through so the same thing that you and Hollow are talking about. And I was talking about it then, but people didn't want to listen because people were too concerned with just oh let's just play the game. Let's mm. just play the game. See, it's about see, the see. game. See now that you say that, yeah, I just want to highlight that this is the problem. So it's the same thing going back to the whole like, um, situation with um, the versus fight. Like, people want to just play the game and they want to be friends with everyone. But it's like, I'm not asking for all of the sides of which I'm not saying none of that stuff. I'm just saying, bro, if you can see something where someone is clearly doing something wrong and you are not thinking to pull up a guy or say, bro, like, you, I'm, not, I'm not messing with him because he's said the N word or something like that. Bro, it then makes me question you. Like, whoa, like, it's... Is this what you look like or is this what you look are cool with? Do you know what I mean? Like, exactly. I'm not sure, I'm not sure if someone said something racist about, I don't know, the music that Shen or whatever like that or, yeah. or something like that. I'm more than sure that I would be like, well, you know what, I'm not going to keep my distance from that guy because he said this and it, to be honest, it doesn't make sense but this is someone in the government. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. I, don't wanna, I don't think making anyone uncomfortable of coming out of their house to come to a I don't want to be around them. Good, exactly. This is what we're meant to build together. Not, you know, someone being ignorant and saying these type of stupid things, but... but exactly. And as anybody who knows me, right, you know, you guys know me, like, and you guys know when I used to do snake bit, I welcomed everybody. You know that there were literally all sorts of people from all walks of life at the snake pit. It was everybody because that was a symbolism. That was the symbolic meaning that everybody is. I don't have a problem with anybody until they have a problem with me. But yeah, as you can see, just to just to close my bit, bit like for now, for now, I think it is. I think there's a bias. I think that a lot of the black issues get overlooked, and it's not just in like games. Even though we're talking about fighting games now, but you've seen it in like especially. Um, Tim and Hollow should know about this. Even in comics, even in the matter of the comics, there are a lot of racist people in like comics where they feel that comics should be monopolized by white people or by whoever. Mm. And that when a black person comes, I know, yeah, because I follow a lot of comic channels and they say the same thing. They complain about the same thing. There's another gamer called, um, have you heard of this gamer called the Hip Hop Gamer? He sounds familiar. He's like, like, yeah, yeah. Well, that's, that's actually that's that's something that I wanted to touch on. That actually, um, just before I go into that, like me, me personally, I grew up in in the Trocadero arcade. So I, I I was obviously I'm younger than you, so I was about for the end of Third Strike, Tekken Five sort of times, and I encountered that level of race not not the not the racism that that we've encountered on Twitter today with Sarah Blast, but 
people saying the N word like nonchalantly and I didn't realise because I was so young and only when I look back on it is when I realised what was actually going on. Like people throwing the word around like it's nothing. And Sarah Blush puts out a tweet saying it's black culture's fault because the, that it's, it's their fault and that's why he says it and they never educate them. But then I started thinking to myself, do you remember when we were kids and I, I've been I've been guilty of doing this and I know every single person probably listened to this podcast or even even you guys or anyone. Do you remember when someone would do something and you'd say, "Oh, that's gay"? Like you're not saying it maliciously. You're not you're not saying it you're not saying it maliciously, but you just say it because in, within within the culture, at least in my school, in primary school, people would say that. So how is that any different? How is that different from him being conditioned to say the N word and me saying, "Oh, that's gay"? I wanted to um I wanted to bring something up like I don't want to draw this person out because they don't have anything to do with this but obviously we we all know Zakuta right and like I've met Zakuta in person nice person like has always been nice to me I ain't got a problem with them at all but Zakuta is is obviously a trans black right have have they have they ever encountered issues in the Tekken community? Because you know them better than I do. Have they ever encountered any race or trans issues in the Tekken community? I don't necessarily think that there's been an issue per se. I remember, um, I think when people first see like um, Sakuna, I think it's like, well, because it's a bit of a shock, shock to other people. 
but I don't think like you know people that are in the scene that know music is we ain't being I don't think we are actually all like just go away like I don't I don't talk to secure so I don't you know I'm just whatever secure is there secure is there it's not an issue but I think I think to the casual audience like someone that comes in I don't think anyone even say anything to anything. I think they'll be like oh okay mm. yeah I mean like I've known Zakua before he took the operation before he started becoming trans do you know what I mean I remember when he had the Homer Simpson hair cut and all of that stuff so I remember because he used to come to my house he used to come to my yard even when he was, was trans or whatever he still still uh, okay so um I can't like I was never really that close-knit with him well I would guess this is just an educated or, or rather just a wild guess here I think the difference with people like us and Zakuta is because, like you said, the trans thing has been a hot topic. It's trendy now. It's kind of yeah. trendy, especially in Gamerland, where a lot of people cosplay. And yeah. that includes cosplaying men cosplaying as women, women cosplaying as men. So I don't think Zakuta would face the, the tribulations that we do necessarily because number one the the Kuba is way more shy than us way more shy he's not outspoken he doesn't really speak about racial topics like that at all because yeah. i've spoken when we've had these talks in my house or anywhere else about racial topics and racial issues in in particular regarding black people he usually really keeps quiet yeah you, you know there's like there's like two types of black people in the game memeing scene that i've been in the ones like us that are outspoken definitely and we usually tend to stem from a certain generation of people that really don't take any shit so we speak and speak on it and then there's the other kind of black person that's just like Meh. you know that's Meh. yeah you know, they don't want any beef one, you know yeah what well, yeah what can i do i don't want any beef all my friends i have loads of friends that are you know white or you know or whatever so i don't want to upset them and i think this is another case of a lot of people saying i don't want to say this because i have a couple of friends that are from this country, so i don't want to upset them because they might feel a certain way but what about us who cares about, about us how we feel having to hear the n word being thrown all alone around or having to be judged every time that we walk into an arcade or a tournament being like well you shouldn't really be here because i've had it i've had it loads of loads of times yeah it's you know, it's, it's, it's 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 crazy yeah. it's crazy to me because like me growing up um in in the trocadero arcade it was it was predominantly a black and asian scene so when i would see yeah. that level of like that just the N word being thrown around consistently, it was crazy to me. But the thing that's annoyed me the most about this whole situation is I don't know if you guys saw Ultra David's tweets. He trivialized the entire situation and tried to make out that what Sarah Blast had done was not as bad as what Lotte God done. And he was trying to bring up all the things that Lotte God has done throughout his life. But it's just weird to me because. He's been here and no one's done anything and only now when they're bringing out a trans topic do they ban him. And then Capcom and, and whoever breaks to the pressure and, and bear in mind Capcom did not put that ban on the same time that Lote God was given his, uh, his lifetime ban from EVO or whatever. They broke to the pressure because Black Twitter got a hold of this whole situation and they started blowing it up and then Capcom broke to the pressure. They didn't do it because they wanted to. Okay, well, I just want to mention something 
something really quickly, right? You know, like, you know, I know I've been away from, from the scene for a while. I've had other things in life going on, but I've still always kept my eyes and ears down to the scene to see what goes on. And when I came back to England, you know, I wanted to get into the comedy. Yeah. Because I've always been a person of oh, comedy. Yeah, like, right, 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 yeah, man. Yeah. So basically, you know, I was asking, I was asking around, you know, with people who have known for a while, you know, and new people and old people alike, you know, that were running streams and all that stuff. And I was like, yo, how do I get in, in this? You know, because for, because for me, it's not just about the money. It's about that I actually genuinely, this is something that I've always done anyway. Anybody who knows me on Snake Pit, remember when I used to do it in Old Street and I would be on the mic literally commentating as the matches were going on? So it's nothing new to me at all. This is nothing. It comes naturally. Number one, I'm a rapper. So, so like, I can talk, I can yap on. Like, so, but for some reason, I personally felt I could be uh, wrong. And if I'm wrong, I, I, will, I will apologize. But... My gut was telling me every time that I was asking around and I was writing people, I was, yo, 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 how do I do this? When is the ne- next week's one? How am I gonna, yo, blah, 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 blah. There was like a bit of like, mm, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Okay. Mm. Okay, you know, touch, you know, touch on this one. I can watch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, yeah. you know, touch on this one. Did I not tell you like certain things that we do as commentary? Like, I'll probably yeah. one of the people. I'll probably one of the few people. But this is how it goes. It's like, they don't like, for example, I was asking people about commentary and like, there's only like, maybe like, I don't even know if there was even a handful of few. I wanted to know like, oh yeah, how do I get in commentary? There's like, maybe like one or two people that was like, yeah, you know, you need to do this, that, that. But, it's just, uh, I don't know, man. It, it's, 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 do you know what, what I mean? Because, no, no offense, like, big up to men, it's big up to Bugsy, all of those, those guys are, are a um, 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 cool. this has nothing to do with them, but I think, like, I have, like, from my personal experience, maybe they had it too, because I haven't really asked them, but there was a bit of thing being met of, of, of resistance, like, people were almost scared of me, like, oh, yeah, um, Cobra, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, we'll, we'll see, and, uh, yeah, even, like, you know, like, because I think, the face of fighting games, like the face of commentary, of like commentary. I, I think people would like Tasty Steve is different, but Tasty Steve, there's only one, there's only one of it. It's only one black guy mm. in the whole commentating scene. Where you compare, if you compare to the other people who commentate who are white or Asian or whoever, there's only one black black guy. But you know what? He's, he's, he's been in the scene for very, very long as well. So I know, and that's the only one. Ryan's only just started commentating. Exactly. And, and, and Ryan, look at Ryan. Ryan's only started commentating, and that's only because, probably because as well, as, as well, Ryan will probably tell you this himself. Ryan faces a lot of racism as well. He faces it a lot. So, like, and like Ryan can, can like tell you him, him himself that his name and his legacy as a tournament player also helped him to get that because if Ryan was just a good player, if he had the exact same skill set that he has now, but he didn't have that name attached to him, they wouldn't let him in. I can tell you that for free. So, yeah. like when I was trying to get in to it, I was like, yo, do I feel a bit of like a bit of resistance being made? Yeah. Are you saying that I look that that I look good enough? Because I'm definitely better than a lot of the awkward people who you put on. Who can't even string a, you know, can't even string a sentence together? Mm. Because it's more about because for me, my my commentating would consist of actually talking to people and actually being a commentator and breaking things down for people who don't just want to hear about frames all day. To be honest, like, but that's just me personally. But I just wanted to put that out there as well. That I noticed that 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 as well. That they try to keep certain people or certain types of people out. Because maybe they want a certain face mm-hmm. on the fighting game community. You know what I mean? Speaking yeah. of an actual face, actually. Mm. On, on Twitter, actually, I'm sure you all remember. I'm sure you've all seen what Phantom did the first time, which got kicked off of um, District G. Yeah, yeah. Wasn't it about when he said, um, why, um, why are they the Yeah, yeah. Why, why yeah, yeah. 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 Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay, so. Random and or a random moment, as you all know, Tekken 7 has bugs like a rainforest. Yeah. So, on one of the videos, a particular senior player posted on that post, and it was commentating on a video where Claudio was ducking under the bank can. Like, right. not like, not like recovering, just ducking underneath it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And Phantom was trying to like, 
explain it away. Explain it away. And the media was like, bro, nigga, like, the, he's catching you down back in. What is that story? Yeah. yeah. And then, like, Phantom was just like, oh, why are you playing these nigga games? Oh, God. Yes. Yes, it came, it yeah. came up on my Twitter. I wasn't involved in the combo at all. So yeah. I, came, I saw, I saw yeah. that. And I just put in at Rick Haddo. Rick Haddo. Because, <laughs> like, oftentimes, when I, when, I, when I see people doing certain things, like, I just take, I just take down, I just take it down and look. And yeah. I'll see about it later on. <clears throat> so I, so I, I, I came out, I came out my, my little space. Because, as many people know, know, I only started using Twitter this year. So I tagged him with the handle. I tagged him with the handle. And this gets the response he gives. What did he say? Deal, deal with it yourself. Seriously? Yes. You see what this is? I like my situation. Okay, whatever, dude. Like, hey, bear in mind. Yeah. Bear in mind. I don't know what Rick had. All I know about Rick had is that this guy is meant to be head of the team or team. Okay, you see, uh, this is the thing, this guy is smart. You see all these names, I've heard of them, but I don't follow them because I think, you know, I've, I've, I've got too many things going on to, like, to be actively following these names, but judging by that, you see, this is just another, uh, another classic case where you're like, okay, I bet if that was, if you took the N-word out and, and put the team on them, I can show you something yeah. even better, I can show you something even better. The story, the story continues because um, oh. as, do you know, do you know a YouTuber called Aika? Mm. Okay, of cool. uh, She does like yeah. a lot of. Oh, you know what's going to be? You know what I'm about to talk about, Jay? <laughs> you know? yeah, yeah, go on, go on, go on. A certain person who's a commentator basically went through the archives of this person's comments because oh. she basically she was being harassed by and she, oh, she was complaining that she predominantly Pakistani with people. Mm. And like someone in her comments must have just said that Pakistani people were born with jamming bitch. And she liked the comment. Mm. Okay. No, I kid, I kid you not, this person, this person went into her comments and straight up and straight up got her off off of YouTube. Like she 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 spit went off the grid. Now I straight up now, when that happened, I straight up said I straight up said to my friend. So where 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 were all you guys when Phantom was running it? running his nigga comments. I just Ooh. see what nobody responded to my comments. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I had said and me and two other people had to explain for the next three hours about how crap that was. Ooh. And what was going on. And then when I said when I said to one of the one of the streamers that, that Jay worked with, spoke with, he just said he he just kicked me blood. Look man, people people don't people don't care about black that much. If if it's only because Pakistan is now forced in the Tekken scene. And then after yeah. that, obviously. Exactly. 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 You, you know, because the, the Pakistani scene is now a popular scene. No, but the Pakistani scene has been around for ages. But because it's now, as as um, Hollow puts it, trending, it's a trending scene now. Mm. You know, they're the newest scene to come out, you know, so it's a trending thing. So anybody who talks any smack about them will be punished for it. But you know, there's, there's a. I wanted to speak about like how how they trivialize black issues because, like you, you guys know me and you know that I, I I don't share the same views as like all my like black friends. Like me and Martin don't share the same views on loads of things. But I'm not I'm not someone that attacks people for their views. But one thing that I've noticed is I've I've noticed the racist thing with blacks and the way I look at it is that you guys probably don't follow the smash scene very much, but. I've, I've sort of kept up to date with what's going on there and yeah I mean there's the, the smash scene right has got so many pedophilic cases and so many cases of people driving cars into into venues trying to kill people and shit there's so many things that have happened in the smash scene bro I'm telling you the smash scene is a whole other level and it really puts into perspective how people downplay the black issue because these guys will still have a following on Twitch. They'll still have a following in the tournament scene. They're going out there sleeping with little boys and little girls. And I'm not talking about all of them, obviously. There's a select few, but they all have a following still. But it, it takes someone like low tier God to say something out of line with something that 
is predominantly a white issue. Like that's what it is. If you look at if you look at the statistics, the trans issue is predominantly a white issue. It's not it's not widespread in other communities. And that's fine, you know. If someone wants to be trans, that's up to them. I ain't got no problem with it. Live your best life. But people try to try to pretend like if this was a predominantly Hispanic, Asian or black issue that it would get the same treatment as it does if it was widespread like it is with white people and they completely they they disregard how how the n-word makes black people feel i even have a friend a personal well, he's not a personal friend i know him from the mk scene and he said to me it's fine for me to say the n-word i've got loads of black friends and i, I just looked at my phone i was like i was like bro listen if if your friends think it's okay for you to say it to them then say it in private to them but if you go outside and you say it to someone like me that is an acquaintance you might get your ass whooped and i think people overlook that completely Exactly. Yeah, that's, that's just it. Like, there is no if, but so maybe it's, it's just ignorance. It's like you don't know what that, what their history or the background. You lot are saying things because you don't think it's cool and you lot are entitled to. I really treat you as an ignorant person. Exactly. Yeah. And I yeah. also think, okay, listen, I'm not begrudging anybody for not knowing the full history on the N word or African history prior or pre-slavery that's not if nobody that's 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 my own thing and that's fine and and anybody who wants to know it fine i think that's the that's the that's the responsibility of black black people if they if they want to find it out however just like they want us to um um um, um to follow the code of conduct and do and decorum in the trans scene in the whatever scene where we just are not allowed to say certain things. Fine. We don't have to understand why, we just have to follow it, right? If the same should be applied to us. Like Hollow said, either everybody gets mocked to hell, Pandora's box, right? Open. Yep. Or nobody does it at all. There shouldn't concession should not be made because you are trans and society or social media or there's an agenda telling you well, yeah, it's okay for you to use derogatory statements, especially against black people. I have to emphasize this, especially against black people, because let's be, let's be honest, black people get it the most. I mean, look, I'm not saying like um, um, Hollow said, it doesn't mean that, that it doesn't happen anywhere else. Nobody's saying that, nobody's ever said that. But we're talking specifics, and we're talking about the N-word, and that N-word pertains to only strictly black people, because there's a historical reference, and there's a historical symbolism behind that word. Nobody can argue that that a fact. So number one, why would you want to say that word anyway? What's, what is scratching you on your body that you need to use that word? Is it a term of endearment? Why don't you use brother? Yeah, bro. Hey, bro. Hey, gov. Hey, brother. Hey, gov. Or just call the person by their fucking name. Why do you have to use a word that you know is a derogatory statement where people have died, have been killed, oppressed over that word for centuries, and you want to come back and then say, well, because I have black friends, my black friends have given me this this black card to say, no, that's with the realms of your friends. Like me and Hollow were discussing this the other day. Look, man, I know that there are certain women out there that like, you know, in in the bed, they like to play certain games and use it. All right, fine, that's, that's yeah, but that's in, the, that's in your privacy. That's, mm. you can't stop that. But when you're outside, when people that aren't your friends who don't know you from Adam, don't, don't be surprised if you get your ass whipped because I've had that a number of times. I've had it in the hip hop scene. It's right there where people thought that because you know they had black friends that they could come and say, Yo, 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 man, yo, man, nigga, this and nigga, that. They, 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 they got slapped for it. Yep. I had to slap people for it. I literally had to slap them for it. So, yeah, so either everybody gets mocked. And there's no, there's no limits. There's no limits. I can say faggot, everything, everything, or nobody does it. Yeah, and as, the, as, like, Holland, the, as the, put it. 
the other thing I want to make clear to everyone that's listening to this podcast is that I truly believe that Sarah Blast is not sorry. He's, they're, they're not sorry at all. They're only sorry because Capcom and everyone else called them out. I've, they would have still had these views. When I was growing up, um, I used to say, oh, that's gay. But when, when's the last time you guys ever heard me say that? Because I knew as I grew up, no one had to tell me, you shouldn't really be saying that. It might hurt a gay person's feelings. I never say that shit in public. Sarah Blast would have continued with these views if Capcom and Twitter had not called them out on it. So Sarah Blast saying, I'm truly sorry for saying this about black culture, they don't mean it. They don't, and all the people that get called out as well, they don't mean it. Like, let's just call a spade a spade. They don't give a fuck about black people. If, if you if you also look at like a lot of the people on Twitter, they were saying that it's wrong of people to go uh, digging up dirt on Sarah Blast, and even Ultra David was saying it's wrong of people to go digging up on someone's past. It's oh, they're only saying that because he was talking about black people. If if they went and digged up stuff on 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 like Mike Ross, for example, and he was being rude about trans people, do you think they would say the same thing? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. This is an example of what I was talking about because I thoroughly believe that because gaming has gotten so big that just like in music, a lot of the people are not there to actually play games. They're there to get exactly. That's why we culture. That's We can say you can say that like Jay might be a streamer, but Jay has been around for the last thirteen years. Yeah. There's people who've been playing Second Theory. At least. Yeah. At least. So like, yeah. but like. With this, with this, in real life, when a black person offends, he's not just a black person, he's his entire race. And he's exactly. every single thing he's done in that very moment. Yep. Now, exactly. If you notice, exactly. Yeah. If you notice LT, um, Ultra David was talking about all the things that Low Tier God has done. Yep. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but wasn't several of Ultra David's other friends and Ultra David himself there when LTG? Versus a biscuit went down. Yeah. Exactly. So, like, if that had a problem, if it was a real problem, LTG would have been pushed right then and Because that didn't tell you There you go. go. So, like, there you go. So, like, yeah. Yeah, so, like, people didn't talk about Sheriff Moss, who's outright saying black people are the problem, and he was telling, he was calling people basement niggas and saying, whatever nigga, eat my ass. And then saying, oh, past being brought up. That, that right there, that right there is, that's the core. For him to be saying that um, it's wrong to bring up the past, that's exactly the same thing that happened in the workplace. Yeah. Um, you know, touching, touching on what you were saying, oh, sorry, one second, Tim. Touching on what you were saying about, oh, uh, yeah, that Zero Blast cares. I've just gone to Zero Blast Twitter now. Like, I don't really follow this person anyways like that. I kind of don't like them. But when you look on the title, it says Zero Blast at Bansword, meaning basically cancelled, like you put banned there. Yeah. Um, and he's got the, you know, the, the what is it, like the celebration um, emoji and a clown. Yeah, I saw that. So now you you tell me now. This is how this is how I want to say corrupt, but I feel like I'm gonna be a bit dramatic if I say that. But I, it right. is what it is. This is how corrupt. It is this how corrupt the FGC is because it's like, well, look, this person's been banned. Yeah, and he's taking the piss out of it. Like he's saying cancelled and clowning and whatever, whatever. I don't know what low tier God's thing is. I don't even know if he's even on Twitter. He's uh, got so many different yeah, Twitters. I can't keep up. Yeah, so I don't. But I don't see. 
blue tech or doing that, but it just goes to show how how you know the people in power they will stick up for people you know uh, that are not black, bro. Yeah. Well, well, listen to this. Listen to this, yeah. Low tier God said what he said, but low tier God, yeah, like him or hate him, agree with him or not, he stuck to his guns. He didn't even apologize. He said, I said this because in the 90s we grew up saying fucked up shit to each other, blah, blah, blah. Whether you agree with that or not, low tier God's not coming out of some wet blanket apology trying to pretend like they actually give a shit. Low tier God is, is who he is. He's, he's true to his character, like him or not, but Cyril Blast. Make no mistake, he's he's not sorry about what he did or what he said, and he definitely holds those views towards black people. And he's only putting that out there because he's lost his sponsors, people have turned on him, and he's banned from tournaments. Yeah. There you go. So that is a fact. Yeah, at least no chair guard didn't apologize and he stuck to his guns, like you just said. But this insincere, uh, disingenuous, oh, I'm sorry for. But I said, no, you're not sorry, man. You, you might as well, because people are stupid. You know? I know a lot of people are, but people like us are stupid. We can see the little nuances of what he's doing. Like you just, 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 just said. He's only doing that because he lost his sponsor and he wants to, to, to like grovel back, grovel his, his way back to the position that he was. But you see the difference. Like, I reckon, listen, I reckon, I'm probably wrong, but you will see Sarah Blast again soon. You will see him in any yeah. tournament, and it'll be yeah. fine. I guarantee you. I guarantee you. Yep. So, I agree. I agree. I agree. It's just like that. There was this um, influencer, this girl, I think her name's Erin Budima. I think her, she used the um, the N word. Like she's she's not black. She used the N word. She apologized. Okay. So many people, like um, so many influencers or celebrities use the n-word and then they just make a apology video and then yeah they're, they're it's, like, it's like oh but then if if you do a trend, trend joke or something like that you get a bad yeah bro so No, no, no. Pew PewDiePie is a big YouTuber. Yeah, PewDiePie is a massive. But I don't know. I don't know about any of that. I, I don't. Know. I heard him say the N word and apologize, but I don't know about any serial killer stuff.
for example, um, if it's like a what day do they have for um, people? They have uh, what day do they have for people that are gay? I can't remember. They have a day. I can't remember what it's called. Yeah, they have gay uh, gay pride or something. Yes, they have the gay pride. Uh, yes. Especially when I was living in Denmark, they have the big time. It's like a weekend of like gay pride and stuff, and it's a yeah. festival and all that stuff. Yeah, right, exactly. So I don't know because I'm I'm gay, and so obviously if people think that I'm being ignorant or anything. Sorry about that. I just no, 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 no. It's not your it's not your responsibility. Yeah. No, 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 yeah. it's not. No. So yeah. they have they have a they have a um, thing about that, but it's like even some of the roads in like South London or even London in general they have like the multicolored um, crossing so mm-hmm. they have everything that's kind of like hey look like you are you are accepted to be this way this and other they glorify so anything anything against them bam you're banned anything against them you're banned oh, yeah. where it is not racist yeah. it doesn't happen it's just uh, yeah it's just a thing just get over just it get over it yeah get over it thank you get over it that's how many how many times have each of you heard that one yeah. yeah so i don't i, don't, I didn't want to say that yes but basically it's just, just yeah it's just one of the things yeah. like look at you if you look on twitter or twitch you, anything there is nothing really celebrated to the full way or about black people but it is with you know if just to touch on something that you said jay uh if i me, you said this thing is going to go on and they don't really care yeah. and i think yes and i agree but this is where i hold a lot of black people of all of people accountable because like i was saying to um to hollow a couple of days ago the problem with black people is that a lot of us we are reactionary people we are reactive people mm. we're not proactive people so so a lot of the time what what goes on is that when something happens when something drastic happens to us Prior to that, we're fine. It's like, it doesn't concern me, man. I just want to burn weed in there. I'm just like, yeah, chill in it. Like, yeah, 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 man, bro. But when it happens, when something happens that's in the camp, now it's in the camp, it's there, so you can't avoid it. That's the time when, when we react. But by then, it's too late because we are ill prepared to do anything about it. You see, the difference with, the, let's say, the trans community is that they actually have the power to punish people for offending them. Black people, till now, in 2020, don't have the power to punish people for using the N-word, to punish people for using derogatory status statements, to even punish people for attacking them. Again, look at China. Look at China. Look at what's going on in China. People don't, I actually have video footage of, of, of this. So it's not me saying, oh, this is hearsay. I, I can show you videos of them banging black people over on yeah. the streets. I've seen them, I've seen them. Yeah, so you know what I mean. Because, yeah, once again, black people as a people now, we are reactionary people, and too, we are ill prepared to handle situations like this. So why would the fighting game community be any different? People can go around using what they want against us because, you know, at the most, you just gotta get up. He's just gonna get, 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 and if he, and if he touches me, he's gonna be the one who gets punished for it because he's, he's the big black guy attacking me. A little old, like a little me, because then they're going to fit him in the mode. That's why I don't respond to anything happening. Yeah, I know, but don't you find it? Yeah, but how, how long is this gonna go on for? Like, how long do we have to keep on, um, enduring such punishment? Do you know what I mean? Cause, I cause, cause, yeah, I honestly, I just, I've said this to my friend quite a few times, and it was, it was actually about the whole sexual, uh, the sexual, uh, the sexual harassment allegations gone that was swirling around a certain major. Mm-hmm. I'm sure we all know which one, which major this is. Um, I actually said straight up that this is basically going to go on until someone, <laughs> until someone gets kidnapped or shot. Yeah, shot, sure. yeah, sure. That's where, that's, that's, that's where people are going to take a look and start realizing that like, yo. It's gonna actually get real because at the end of the day, people are playing. People are not. People are not saying like little kid insults. They're not you know. Don't yeah. have someone on the arm and saying, "Yeah, we got movies." No, your your insult on your it's racial abuse. It's people racial abuse. Like, and what you usually follows that yeah. got attacked or killed on these sort of things. Exactly. Exactly. I'm I'm being attacked. Of course, I'm being attacked. When these when these when these guys that show up last or all your name, I have to understand a big part of the reason is well, is, as I just might have said, is that there's a there's an established hierarchy in the MGC. Mm. Like, like you know, we, we all 
watch Game of Thrones, right? Mm. Yep. So it's like it's like game the FGC now is like Game of Thrones. They all have their own little factions, their own little system that you gotta go through before mm-hmm. you get to anyone. Mm-hmm. So eventually what, what what's gonna happen? Where's gonna where's gonna go to that? One of these one of these these people are gonna say something. It's gonna be shut, you can't get a nigga. Mm-hmm. So every person lives their whole life like the Some people grow up mm-hmm. some people grow up digital bro. Some people grow up analog, not digital. Exactly. Some people go animal, baby. Yeah. Yeah, like, I remember these, these people are from New York City. These, these guys are from, from places not too far from the hood. What's going to happen is at one of these events, someone's going to go there and just kidnap one of them. Or someone's going to go there and get shot. Do you know what it is, though? And they won't know what's going on. Yeah, I know, but you know what? This is why Sarah Blast, um, um, despite him coming from New York, where you were saying, yeah, but. You see, what you have to remember as well is that a lot of these places have been gentrified. So, you couldn't say this back in the 90s, are you crazy? Saying, nigga who? Nigga what? They would have taken him to Brownsville and that, and you would have never seen the dude again. Uh, like, again. But because a lot of these places have been gentrified, even though the New York, it's like saying Compton now. I'm from Compton. Compton has been gentrified, mate. From the time that you see white women running with their dogs, you know that that place, that's the, that's the telltale sign of where the place that used to be rough has now been gentrified. It happened in Peckham, it happened in Brixton. A lot of these, these places are becoming more racially varied. So, you so yeah, like, like, so like, yeah. Yeah. So like, some people, you know, like, yeah, we got mental health problems running rampant, like, especially definitely, definitely. So, like, definitely, eventually, like, the law average will kick in. Like, I said, yeah, no, of course. It doesn't, doesn't care about your FTC hierarchies. Doesn't care about yeah. your Discord chat, your Discord groups. Yeah. He doesn't care about your talking about He's gonna yeah. go there with a couple people. You might not even be black. You might just be some white dudes. Yeah, yeah. just be some crazy white dudes. Yeah. Some yeah. real top Polish guy. And then she's yeah. batty. And then but that's the thing, thing Mike. Like, I already said, listen, I've already said it. I don't mean that it, 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 no. Shinjin is there running as well. Let me give you another one. Oh my god, another big story, right? Who remembers Chunkies? Obviously, you guys remember yeah, Chunkies. Yeah, yeah. I'm not calling his, his, his name up because he deserves it, right? So now, you guys remember how cool we were with Chunkies. Let me tell you a little quick story. When Chunkies came, Chunkies was a nobody. Chunkies didn't because he literally didn't know anybody. We took Chunkies in. He used to hang around. He used to hang around just a second. My little boy, my cousin. May I help you quickly? Make it quick. Chunkies, <laughs> Yes, go, go, quick. Get out. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, anyway, right? Chunkies was a nobody. Chunkies came around in Nanko County Hall, right? Chunkies didn't know anybody. He was just some dude who used to hang around and just watch games. So obviously we, you know, we got Queen to him. He was quite funny, funny Irish rich guy, yada yada yada. Now I remember a couple of years ago when I was this was when I was still living in Denver, Mark, right? There was you, you remember there were a couple of tournaments in Ireland, in Dublin. There used to be some tournaments going on there, checking wise. So obviously I wanted to like like. I wanted to go in there. I wanted to say, all right, let me go in there and just try my luck and let's see. So I asked Chunkis because Chunkis was living there. And you know what Chunkis said? Chunkis was like, oh, we still hang niggers here. What? So don't come out down, down here. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. We, they still hang. Yeah. We still hang. Not they. We still hang niggers here. So don't come down here. That's what he said. And another time, there was another time when he was still on my face, but he's he's been blocked now. But there was something that he said. There was a racial thing that he said against black people, and I was like, "Yo, bro, bro listen. If I see you, I'm I'm gonna kill you. Like, if I see you, I'm going to beat the frigging bricks off you." Because Chunkis was somebody, you know, we never looked at race. There were all sorts of people. There were Pakistani people in our crew there were black people there were white people chinese jap like chinese japanese kishimon when he lived here was in our um, the freaking in, in the crew he was in our crew the same night we didn't bat, bat an eye and live but you always have these harboring feelings with these certain socially awkward people about racial especially when it comes to black people i can't i know i, I know i know it sounds like um like feel feel good rhetoric or like victimization mm. but 
from personal experience, I've seen this too many times. This is not my first time around this track. Too many times. Chunkus, Shinjin, Ben, uh, Chris Hall, all these people that all have this resounding thing of eventually coming out and say, these are the views we have on you, black people, and blah, 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 blah. So the thing that I was saying is that us as a people, look, look man, we have to start fixing up in our own way. We have to be more proactive than reactive. Yeah. We need to start punishing people. We need to actually have start to have dialogues, one. Because I think the problem with a lot of black people is that we don't have to, like, we don't have to, we, like, we, um, we don't have to agree on everything. There's no human on the planet that agrees with everyone about everything. Even yeah. people in their own race, they don't agree on everything. I think that's a misconception that black people have about other races, that they sit there and that they agree on everything, that they go out to the world and they work and then they get far. No. But there are certain protocols in place when things like this happen, where they get put, where, where they simply get punished for it. Yeah. And that's how you get a power from. Yeah, power does not come. Yeah, power only, you see, we need to remember, power only respects power. It yep. doesn't respect victimization. It doesn't respect remorse. It doesn't respect reason. It doesn't respect logic. It doesn't respect moral code. Power is power. That's true. Haven't given these other people a reason to think twice about using certain things or doing certain things to us. And this transcends games, but I know that we're talking about fighting games. So let me keep it there. But this power respects power. And they see us as weak because we're not a united people. We're not even united about how we feel about using the N-word. Because like he's saying, some of his friends, who are black, apparently, are okay with it. Mm. I'm not, but they are. So how So how do we, ta- like, how do we tackle that? Yeah. Well, I think, I think that like, context is really powerful. And I think people um, overlook context because you can say a lot of things... And not mean them. Now you know when girls call each other bitches. I understand that that standpoint, and I don't want people listening to this podcast to think that we're attacking whites or whatever. Because I myself, I'm I'm half white. I'm Greek and I'm German. So this isn't about white people. This is about unfair treatment of black people. Are you German, friend? Oh yeah. Yeah, my last. Yeah, my last. Yeah, yeah. It's a German surname. Yeah. So like so this, girl, just, yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean this is this isn't about like this isn't a podcast attacking white people or trans people. This is a podcast basically saying if you're gonna if you're gonna treat someone like low tier god in a certain way, treat everyone like that. Exactly, exactly. Treat everybody like that. Like you said, one suit fits all. Right? Yep. Yep. One suit should fit all. I agree. Either we. Everybody gets cast without exception, no concessions, or nobody gets cast. Exactly. And it's a very PC, PC affair where nothing, nothing offensive gets said. Because I'm alright with both. Because I don't need to cast people to play games. I can go with my friends and banter with with, with them. I, I don't need to go out of my way to offend anybody while I'm playing a game. I've been playing games for a long time. Yeah. So I know. I know why I why I do what I do, but you know, with these people who want an audience, who want their fifteen minutes of fame, be, be because you know, as you know now, as you said, you know, sponsored gaming and all this stuff. Everybody is is chasing that 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 torch. You know, I don't want to be a sponsored player, just like JDC <laughs> yeah. or like whoever, or like 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 me, <laughs> and then I'm, I'm gonna be famous. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, because everybody's chasing that. You you know, but I just think it falls on us as well that we as black people need to start to dialogue more, just like this, even with opposing people. Oh, because I don't mind being on another pod, podcast panel with opposing views so yeah. that we can actually have a dialogue, like so that things get talked about. You know, talked about. You know what I mean? Because these things need to get talked about and they need to get talked about openly and honestly. Yeah. Because that's the only way that I think that anything's gonna get done and any any conclusion is going to be reached because as you guys said, 
I look, I can bet you money that Sarah Blast will be back in action, will be stream memeing again, will be in tournaments again, because I think that he will have backing from the trans community. I think that not just that, he will have backing from a lot of the gaming community. Mm -hmm. You know, is it fucked up? Of course it is. But this is how it is, because like I said, power respects power. He has, as weird as it is, even though he's a two-tooth a pick, he's a match, ma ma matchstick physically, but he has power because he has a fan base that will support him even when he's wrong. And they'll say, man, put this dude back, man. This isn't fair. Why should he be? And then he gets back back on. I've seen them on Twitter. I've, I've, I've seen, Twitter. seen them saying yes. it on Twitter. Uh, uh, so, 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 there you go, fam. Oh, so there you go. There you go. And like I said, the only way I just can get is if the people power stop being like, it's like, it's on the old David, I don't learn from anywhere from that. Like, he's someone that has power. The Hado is someone that has power. Mm. Um, all these people have power. Uh, Mark Man have power. All these people have power. They have loads of, they have a large following and stuff. However, if they are turning up like that and stuff like that to that, but then, you know, uh, if someone else does something, you know, you're quick to be on them, then everyone sees it, right? So if you turn a blind eye to something like that, no one sees it. Do you get what I'm saying? These are large figures in the FGC. We start calling them out. Yeah, that's this is the problem. Like, for example, obviously, the serial class thing that came up recently, what, two days ago, it's been two days now. I didn't see no one, none of them will speak about it. Yeah. None of them might see them say anything, but I've seen them talk about we'll take all these are nasty. No, not even those but other people said, oh, yeah, he's a nasty person. He said all of these things. But it's like, okay, Sarah Blush said this about the black community. Where's the old Davis? Where's the Haddles? Where's, the, where's all these people? Where, what are you like? Obviously, they, they probably don't want to indulge in negativity, which I can understand. But. It's clear as day there is a big issue here. Well, Ultra David was quick to call out Low Tier God when this shit happened. He was so quick to call him out, but... Yeah, he was one of the first people that tweeted. Yeah, he was one of the first people that did it, I but it, it took days for him to say anything about Sarah Blast. And even then, it was not nearly as badly as that, how the whole Low Tier God situation was treated. All he said was, uh, I don't think it's as bad as what Low Tier God has been doing. Now, don't get me wrong, Low Tier God... He doesn't do himself any favor. It's the way how he does his content, it's what he does, whatever. But you lot should have pulled up on him and he done all the other stuff, but he said all the other stuff. Do you see what I'm saying? It's yeah. like, come on, you lot pull him up. <laughs> Only because you're arguing, you said to this guy to go the full way of being trying to okay, cool. It's not cool for him to say, I don't think, I don't think it's cool for him to say that. Yeah. I don't think he should have mentioned anything to do with um, is what he does. Because at the end of the day, you lot are playing the game. You, okay, you don't matter where you play, you rage quit, whatever, whatever, cool. Cuss him, don't, don't cuss his gender, don't cuss his skin colour, don't cuss anything, do you know what I mean? Just do what you want to do in it, but if you feel that that's the way how it is, cool, but then you're going to get yourself into a lot of problems. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? yeah, Lo Lote God 100% should have been scrutinised for what he said. It's, it's, yeah, it's more to the point that they only scrutinised him because this was a trans issue and because... Um, you know, I mean, he's been he, like I said before. Lote Cod has been saying this shit for ages. He's been saying stuff about people for ages, and only now. Oh, it's, a, it's, it's a witch hunt, though. So, you know what I'm saying? It's like it's a witch hunt, bro. It's like the reason why I'm so passionate about this one compared to anything else that's happened is because I've been through it. It's like I will say certain things. Like certain things happened before that whole collusion thing happened with me. But as soon as it was me, because of the way how I am, the way how I speak. Mm. That I'm, I'm, I was growing, I'm still growing. Where I was growing, and I've got my audience, and I've never needed, you know, the big figures. People don't like that. Yeah. Yeah, but I just speak. Yeah. People don't like that. But then, when you really look at back, I was working. Since, even now, like, for example, yesterday, seven hours, before then, ten hours, I'm streaming way more than the average person. And it's like. Bro, I was scared that. I remember, I remember being at uni and bumping into you. At work, tell me you where to go stream. <laughs> exactly. Bro, it's like, it's just, it's, it buzz. as soon as the, like, you know, the top people, like I said, the spookies and all these people, bro, spooky, Mark, man, oh yeah, we've got to do something about this because they thought I was shooting. It's just like, well. Yeah, I remember it's, that. It's like, 
Cleaning. What happened? I got banned. Ma- I remember Markman said, uh, "Let me let me get on the phone to the Namcops." And I was I remember reading it and thinking, "Who the fuck is this guy? Like, what's his problem?" <laughs> I mean, I think I think we've 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 uh, we've pretty much covered everything now, and uh, my neighbours are about to start drilling next door. So, do you guys have any closing statements? Tim? Right. Tim, you've got any closing closing comments? Is he around still? I don't know if he's around, but come you do your thing, and things. Yeah, just wanted to say, yeah, man, good talk, definitely. Good, um, this was a very good outlet, so props to you, Mike, and props to you also for making that video. I actually watched it twice, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah. You know, and like throughout the whole video, I just nodded because this is not only a matter that has been going on since forever. This is a matter that has had that needs to be addressed again and again until it gets solved. And all I'll say is this: um, I'm not going to talk talk to any other community. To to be, be honest, I think for me, my main focus because this is the people in question are the black players or the black tournament holders. Because being an X one myself, a black tournament holder, 
I think I think next time I, I do um, a podcast, I think I'll have an opposing point of view in here, so it doesn't seem like it's just it's just one view that's getting across. But like in closing, for me, it's it's just like I I haven't got a massive following on YouTube, but you guys know me. I've I've always been outspoken, and if I see some bullshit, I'm not gonna turn up. You know, I'm very open to everything, so if it's gonna be law of the jungle, then fine. But if it's not then it has to be fair across the board. And if I see people doing some sort of fuckery towards black gamers or anyone, and it's one-sided, then I'm going to call it out. been good um i think this chat needs to be had and we'll definitely have it again sometime no no worries man thanks for being on guys and uh 
Yeah. All right, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, guys. Peace. Peace.